What is up you guys? My name is Dylan and this is Strange Tech. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video. What we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be improving a setup. So we're going to be taking Michael Tumbleweed Kepley who currently streams and plays games. Uh, we got a couple things for him and then we're also going to be improving his setup to help him with streaming. Make his camera a little bit better quality as well as optimize his desk space and setup. Just kind of make him feel a little bit more at home as well as tidy everything up and make it look super good. So without further ado, let's hop into it. So just to break down quickly where we're starting it, this right here is his current setup and kind of what it looks like uh, in the beginning. Um, and basically the issues that he's been running into is that his keyboard and mouse, you know, you don't have as much space with the stands, the monitor, and the positioning of the desk. Um, so that's going to be something we're going to look to correct, as well as the actual computer itself, which is a Corsair 540 case. It's a dual chamber case with a big glass pane on the side. It's a really, really gorgeous case, and it's meant to show off your computer. However, being down on the floor and kind of away and at a weird angle with cable links and everything, it makes it really hard to show off. So we're going to try to put that on the desk as well. Um, and then there's a few other things we just want to clean up along the way to improve the quality of his stream. Now the starting point for his stream right here, he has a big issue with these two lights or two windows in the room that are creating crazy amount of light for him. Uh, and basically what that does is whenever he streams during the daylight, it super blows up his face. Uh, you really can't tell any detail because it's just so blown up. Uh, there's just so much excessive light in there. So we're going to get some blackout curtains to try to fix that as well as set him up with a little bit of a lighting solution to try to make his stream quality just improve that much more. So quickly, let's go over all the products that we've got to kind of replace the setup. The first thing that we're gonna go over is the monitor mounts themselves. We decided to go with these $30 options. These are a little bit less expensive. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, their name is NB North Bayou. Um, they're pretty solid monitor mounts. You'll see a little bit later in the video as well. I'll kind of explain the difference between getting something that's really inexpensive versus just a little bit more money. Uh, but we decided to go with two of those so we can mount it to the back of the desk to try to get everything away. Uh, the next thing we wanted to go over is the light in itself. Uh, now this light, which like many of the LED panels you're going to find for the price point, um, is going to have some pros and cons. This particular one has a DC power out, which is something that I always look for. Uh, the reason that I always look for a DC power out is because you can basically leave it constantly plugged in. You don't need the, um, the battery always to be charged. If you're streaming, it's way better to have that DC power out in the back. Um, but you can also still plug the battery in if you want to go out and film anything or use it as some type of fill light or accent light on a normal video set. So it is a good multi-purpose light. Uh, this particular combo that he got was $38. Bucks. Uh, now the $38 was just the light and the battery. Uh, and then it was an additional $8 to get the DC power cord as well. Another big reason we decided to go with this light as well is it can go from 35 to 56K uh, in terms of the lighting warmth versus being a very blue versus being a very yellowish. Um, it's actually a dual panel. So what that means is half the LEDs are in the very bright 56 and then half the LEDs are in the more yellowish 35. Uh, so as you turn that down, it kind of integrates the lights to sort out the lighting in itself. It also has a brightness dial and it's a very clear, easy to read display on the back. Uh, so that just makes this guy really, really easy to use. Now, as for the actual mounting of the light, instead of going with the stand like you would normally go with, what we decided to do here is actually utilize a gooseneck. Uh, we got this one by Smotry uh, on Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. Uh, we were initially going to mount it to the back of one of the monitors, but we actually found a better mount up top. Um, and we'll kind of go over that a little bit later in the video as well. Uh, but you definitely need something to mount it. You can either get a cheap stand or you could fix it to your wall as well if you're in a more permanent place. Uh, but with the window being there and everything, it kind of inhibited that a little bit. The next thing as well is a mouse bungee or a cable jockey, which holds the cable of your mouse and itself to kind of give you a little bit more free play so you're not tugging and pulling on things. Uh, so that guy, we actually want to pick it for about six bucks on Amazon. Um, it's a variety of ones. You can get them with USB plugs. You can get them with LEDs and all kinds of stuff. They're just a really cheap and basic one. Uh, just to kind of optimize that cable movement of the mouse and itself. Previously, he was also using his mic arm as his headphone stand, so we decided to pick up like a little $13 headphone stand from Brainwaves that just simply clicks on the side of the desk kind of give a good little home for his headphones as well. Other than that, it's all really cable management tools. So we got some zip ties. Uh, we got a little cable holder from Ikea, which I use a lot of those. So I just had one cut up already laying around, um, as well as little sticky adhesive pieces, the snap cables into place. Um, those are the biggest factors that we had for actually getting for the project. Um, and then we shot a big time last kind of go over it. So I'm gonna B-roll that in the back as we kind of cut it out to points of importance throughout, just kind of explain, you know, why we did things and how we did them as well. So one of the most important things you always need to do is clean up everything beforehand, just because using a desk, if you're using something existing, it's just gonna be dirty. Like you can see here, everything's just a little bit dirty. I mean, that's why you just need to be able to wipe everything down, dust everything off. That's why when you look at even your peripherals and stuff, like on your 
monitor and stuff. It gets really dusty and your keyboard and everything as well. Uh, so that's why like one of the biggest things you can do is just clean everything beforehand. Just make sure it's all nice and tidy before you actually get started. And once we clean everything, we'll start putting everything back. So real quickly, when it comes to these stands, these stands are a little bit less expensive, so these plates don't detach. Most of the stands that I try to use detach like this, so you can mount the plate. Once the monitor is on the plate, you literally slide it on and you're done. These are not quite that way, so we actually have to mount them while they're on here. So one thing that we've done to make the process just a little bit easier is by mounting the top two screws, they actually slide into the top, and then that's just gonna allow us to hook and then screw in the bottom. You also want to try to keep desks pulled off of walls when you do setups and because of that we can have someone back there we can have someone in the front it makes the whole end end process a little bit smoother going forward also you can manage all your cables and do everything once you have everything set up you just slide the desk back into place and you're good So as you can see from the little clip here beforehand of the stream in itself, uh, the lighting was kind of a little bit inconsistent. Uh, with there being two windows in here, it made the daylight coming in bleed really, really badly on the face. It just kind of blew out and super exposed um, the actual room in itself while streaming. Uh, so what we've elected to do is we're using blackout curtains. Um, we're folding them over top of the existing setup as well as tacking them around the corners. Um, so that way we can really control the light. We have a light coming or here as well that we're gonna be uh, putting probably above the monitors to cast light down that way we can cut off the light and really control the lighting environment at any time of day uh, This is a little inconvenient doing your bedroom at times because sometimes you want the natural light But you can use thumb jacks and just take them in take them out and it doesn't take that long Sometimes it can be a little tedious for your first few experiences of putting them up and down, but Other than that it's pretty straightforward to kind of put in and out <laughs> So for the cable management piece we already plugged in this power outlet, which is going to take up both spots. Uh, it has two USB ports on the top as well. We're going to be using an additional power outlet right here. Uh, we're going to be mounting this power outlet as well as this IKEA piece, which is chopped down. Use these for cable management a lot. And we're using the light actually to illuminate so we can see things down here that will work. Um, we'll be mounting this up here, so this will actually be a cable trolley for everything. This desk actually comes with this basket, which we'll use a little bit too, um, but it's just a little bit harder to route in comparison to this so we'll be bolting this in and then wiring everything through here as well like we said beforehand he's kind of into streaming and that's something that he really enjoys uh, so check him out on twitch.tv slash tumbleweed ttv link will be down in the description as well uh, but for that we wanted to make the streaming just a little bit better so you can see beforehand his stream used to just the, the webcam quality just wasn't all there and of course due to lighting sometimes it would be too dark and the overhead light wasn't good enough um, or the outside light just blowing up on the windows just super overexposed him um, and just kind of reduced the quality of the stream overall just a good bit in my opinion um, and i think webcams are definitely something you want to show off who you are uh, and you definitely want to emphasize that you are in fact uh, you know the important point of your stream uh, so we kind of wanted to bring him back into the emphasis and give him really really good quality uh, so you can see here with uh, we just stream screen capped his streaming software um, and just kind of showed him you know kind of lighting how it works in general you know what he's looking for what's an ideal scenario how to light him efficiently without lighting up the whole rear of the room uh, which doesn't really give you good contrast but if you light him efficiently have a dark background you know gives you that better contrast and then throwing in an accent light back there really really helps sell it overall uh, it really makes it a really clean viewing experience uh, and that's something we really wanted to achieve and it seems like that we accomplished that uh, and I know he's really happy with it and we're really happy with it as well uh, but moving on into the actual setup reveal, uh, like I said before, it's still a work in progress. We still need a couple of the pieces. We're going to try to get some longer cables um, as well as USB hub to manage USB just a little bit more efficiently. But here, check out what his sub setup looks like at the end.
all in all, this was a really fun project to work on. I'm really happy we were able to make his setup even better, make him more happy, manage all the cables, and make it look way, way better. Uh, we look to be doing this more often. Uh, I have a couple of people other setups that I want to help revamp and build upon. Uh, and then also, I want to definitely do some setup tours uh, and try to get with people on you know, why their setup is optimal for them and how they've kind of built off their workspace. Uh, and then it may even start with me. I'm still kind of hesitant on where I'm at currently. I'm still trying to find the most optimal workflow for my setup but I changed it so much, it's really hard to ever meet optimal. Uh, so we'll probably try to do one of those relatively soon as well. Either way, as always, all the products and everything I talked about in this video are gonna be down in the description, as well as Tumbleweed's Twitch channel, YouTube, Instagram, and all the social media stuff that go along with that as well. Um, then if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to let me know down below in the comment section. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.